Oh man, look at that right there, Bubba. Oh, it's a little big for you, Bubba. He is not about the hats yet. Say no, man. No, Daddy. <laughs> Hi, Bubba. Hi, little man. Yo, 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 yo. What's up, guys? And welcome back to another one. In this hunt, it's a white hunt, and it's a duck slash goose hunt. Duck season was still open, but this one is in white. It's at my lease field, and it was a duck snow goose canada hunt we killed all the above except for specs specs were closed but talking about white hunting we have the white ducks hats available they are beautiful let me tell you what and we also have them with the regular head on now bubba's was wearing his for a while until i turned the camera on and then he didn't want to wear it hey that's an sd card dude but little bubba's and me are going to go do some scouting today but we want to show you this video. We just got done editing it, didn't we, Bubba? Additionally, our snow goose hoodies are available. Also, it's a conservation hoodie. It says no plugs, no limit down the sleeve. Check it out right here. Those are available and also our who rags. Check these bad boys out. Just loaded with snow geese on the front. They look great. They're white so you can wear them when you're laying white. I will link all those items in the description below. Go click it. Go check it out. They are Sweet. Additionally to that, starting Friday, we will be doing a huge, huge site-wide sale again. You know, like hoodies, 25% off hoodies Friday, 25% off shirts Saturday. So be looking out. I'm going to update you guys, but we're going to be doing an end of the season sale starting this Friday. So be looking out. There's going to be a bunch of savings going on in there, Bubba's. Look at your little messy face. To stay up to date what day we're doing what, follow myself and Ducks Waterfowl right here on Instagram. You're going to get all the updates day to day so you'll know what's on sale each and every day. Holy smokes, we're here at the field. Let me cover my head here. We're here at the field. Look what we got going on. We got a mess. We got the Argo. We got Preston. No. And we have a double axle trailer loaded plumb down. The ground's a little wet so I don't want to make any ruts in this field so the Argo leaves a very very light footprint it's not heavy it, the weight is dispersed a lot of the ground we have a ton of decoys to set up I will check back in here in a minute oh all right well after oh, I'm telling you what there's only five of us and we just set a spread of 1200 decoys Mostly being socks and silhouettes, and uh, but we we did sit a ton of uh, full body snows and dark Canada geese out here. Now this goes all the way that way a long ways with families. I'll have to show you it once the sun comes up and we have some better lighting. But I do like this spread a lot, and I will show you guys what it's all about when uh, I get some time. But we've got a lot of birds getting up. They might uh. We might start doing it. We had two ducks already do it, a uh, drake and a hen, and they did it extra dirty. So, hoping we will have a ridiculous morning here. I just don't care. Hey, Preston, them, them specs have no rules. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely don't have any rules down there. We're gonna spray. All right, they just got up. This is all snows, baby. All snows. Snow just cover your face, put your arm over your face. Oh boy, they're all over us. So they'll just start spinning and do it. Please, please do it. Come on. Come on, we need a low group to start doing it, and the rest will follow. They all got up, as you've seen, and uh, came and flew over us. And uh, it's, it's one of the deals, if we all would have pulled up and shot, I'm sure we could have dropped a, a ton of them, but none of them was decoying. And uh, I really want to try to decoy a bunch of snows today, instead of bumping them off and scaring them. Well, we got a uh, five pack of honkers. It's low, 
but I don't know if they're gonna swing in here or not. Let's see. He just pooped on our spread, man. Did you see that? Look at these three doing it perfect. Wow. Are they Canada's? Yep, they're Canada's. Shoot them, shoot them. Yeah, yeah, buddy, boom. Dead boys, them boys, dead ski. Nice shooting, boys. They decoyed perfect. Canada is the first group to do it, small group, but Canada's. We've had a ton of specs decoy and finally had some birds we could shoot. Here we go, boys. These are Canada's up top. Take up! Holy smokes! Oh, we dropped them, boys. That was bad. That was money. That was beautiful. Dude, they turned and came right back. Right in our feet. Landed at our feet. That was awesome. No calling at all. These, this, this big white blobs are so powerful, dude. Powerful. They're so powerful. They are, though. They're just. They are, man. Pretty high. Real high. Oof. Well, I haven't uh, vlogged for a little while. It's been extremely busy. We've only had uh, one huge group of darks do it really good. Um, unfortunately, my GoPro in the kill hole died on me like usual. The GoPro 5s, man, they, the batteries literally go so fast in this cold weather. The birds are just piling in here. They're coming from the south, they're coming from the east, and they're just loading this whole area behind us. There's some big sand pits behind us, and. There's a couple marshes, so this whole area is just getting stacked right now. Kill. Nice. I shot that one that landed far. I shot the close one. So if he's banded, he's yours. Is that what yeah, you're that saying? Gonna be mine. That one yours. All right. If he's if he's banded, if he's banded. I'll pay you a hundred bucks. Shoot him. Nice! Woo! Goodness gracious, boys! Completely wadded them all up. My goodness. That was bad. They just look like professional hunters. Woo! Yeah, you would think that we're professional shooters out here or something. Oh, well, the hunting this morning slowed down. We got into some dark geese. We got into the Canada's. It is midday. We took a break. We went and got something to eat. Went and got some caffeine. Let me show you how many ducks are on this thing. So the ducks have sat on the water all day. Yesterday we had blizzard conditions in the morning. It was a massive cold front that came in after a bunch of warm weather. And it snowed all morning. Blew, the wind blew 30 to 40 mile an hour sleeted and drizzled in the morning so it was cloudy all day extremely windy all day and cold well what they did here is these birds the ducks the snow geese the dark geese everything in general but what they did all day yesterday is they jumped over the trees to go feed in the field that we're set up on here's the water those far trees were set up in the other field you know like it's actually probably a half mile away from where we're standing right now this is my theory Today they're full. They fed all day yesterday because there was water and feed and all they and they knew that. They didn't have to go fly and find it. They just jumped all day, got a drink fed, got a drink fed. So all the ducks, all the geese, all the snow geese are full. Some of the snows have left. You know, some of the dark geese have left, but all the ducks are still here. Every good filled duck hunt that I've ever done is in the evenings. If I'm right and you guys feel the same way, drop a comment down below. And let me know, do you usually bang out ducks in the field in the evenings primarily, you know? 
Long story short, we left the spread up. We already adjusted it, moved some decoys around, made it look a little different from this morning. We never limited out by no means. We just want to shoot snow geese, but primarily, as you guys know, ducks. And what we do we have here? So right here, all this, see all that white line? That whole north end is full of snow geese. This is stacked and chocked full of ducks. See all them ducks right there? I wish I had a bigger lens, but chocked full of ducks, chocked full of ducks right there. That's what's sitting here, and that's why we went and had lunch. We came back, and we're gonna try to wreck the ducks because the ducks do it dirty in the evening. Let's go do it. Well, we got some, we're set down. Uh, a lot of birds just got up. Oh my, oh my goodness. What do you want to do, shoot them? Shoot them! Three snows, baby, three shots! Woo, I just dropped three snows, three, that was sweet. That was so much, that's a way to start the afternoon hunt, boys. Oh boy. I know you guys just seen that triple snow banger. Oh, Noah helped me on the first one. The last one, that's one of the longest shots that I've probably made all year. That, that, was, that was out there, no doubt. Snow geese are easy to kill. They wound easy, they die easy, but when that shot hit that bird, I still seen a big old fluff, so. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Dude, that well, was bad. I'd be bad. showing his old shooting skills off. The old, the old Botsky trying to uh, keep up with the young dudes here. We got ducks locked up. I can't turn around and look. Oh, they're right in front of us. Here they are. Finally some ducks. Ready? Go. Woo! Oh. Woo! <laughs> Holy oh, smokes, I boys! I, I don't know, but we are shooting darn good today. Dude, we're shooting good. Real good. All sorts of good. I'll show you the spread real quick before these birds start flying. All right, so what we got, we're laying here and uh, wind, northwest wind, so it's doing this. Uh, at our feet, we have a bunch of full bodies, a bunch of dark full bodies, a bunch of snow full bodies, and we kind of make a U here, and obviously this is gonna be a big old kill hole. This morning, I figured I was gonna put out all of our dark uh, full body Canada's, but there was only five of us, and the work it took to get this blob up, I mean, look how many, was enormous with five people, so. But all around the kill hole, we just got family groups. Gonna have to shoot right there. Gonna turn around if they do this. They're gonna do it every time. That's what they've done. Might as well turn around then. More coming. Well You're gonna have to shoot right there. Take them then if you shoot, shoot them. If they've been doing that, let's just turn around. Yeah, we're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. Yep. Shoot them. Take them. Uh -huh. Oh no. Oh, I backflip and oh, right on his head. <laughs> right on his head. Ouch. Poor guy. He got hoaxed by the old white spread yet again. Is he banded at him? <laughs> oh, look at all of the ducks. Oh my goodness. Whoa. What the heck? Oh! Oh, get him! The goose landed right behind us. What the heck? Wade tried catching him. We didn't even try shooting him. The butt. Oh. Nice! Oh, Wade cleaned up house. Oh, Gee, many Christmas. What are you doing down there, Ross? Yeah, we're about four and a half yards, Ross. Goodness. <laughs> hey, these two. Smoke yeah. these two. Take them. Nice! Woo! Nice shooting. That's all she wrote. That's it. Oh my goodness, look at these ducks. Wow. <laughs> T 
ton of ducks. You know how it goes, they want to decoy at the end of the day, right at shooting light. Woohoo! Banger, banger, banger hunt. It was so much fun. The lease provided. One of the best investments I've ever made in waterfowl hunting was buying that lease. Your boy has partnered up with a snow goose e-collar company. We are partnering up with the sweetest, baddest e-collar in the game. If you guys want me to do a review over that e-collar, show you what it's all about, and you'll find out who it is, drop a comment down below and let me know and I will get that on the way because conservation season starts literally in under a week and we're going to be sitting that e-collar and the big white spread up on marshes, on water, on fields, banging them out. So let me know if you want to see the video and what e-collar company got a hold of your boy and wants to support the channel. But like I said, we got the white hats available, the Who Rags and the Snow Goose hoodie. I don't have the Who Rags or Snow Goose hoodie here, but here's a picture of them. They are available. The link is in the description below. Go check them out and go grab you one. But I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching, for subscribing. You know, I greatly appreciate it. I enjoy all my viewers. I love, I love, I love the community that we're building here. Your positive comments go a long ways. The positive DMs and snaps that you guys send me, thank you. But subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you on the next one. Give this video a big old thumbs up if you liked it. And keep slaying them birds. Peace. Yeah. Guala, 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 guala. I'm living like it's not tomorrow. Don't know my style, won't let you borrow. You're thirsty, have a glass of water. I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead